Crafters, good to see you all tonight. Tom Creek here with Creek Bank Creations. Have we got a show for you? You notice I don't have my hat on tonight. I mean, some of you were wondering if I even had hair. Yeah, this is what I look like with, without a hat on. Uh, we, did, we did a show last week, and uh, I forgot to bring my hat back to the studio. So I'll have it next week. So anyway, log on, say where you're from, say hello. Uh, <clears throat> our company is Creek Bank Creations. Uh, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do tonight. Tonight, we are going to be working on Slimline. And what is cool is we're going to be incorporating an older die that we've had in our line with our existing Slimline uh, card system. And uh, that's the Circle Flip. So some of you already own the Circle Flip. If you, if you don't, we've got a bundle special for that. Here's another version using our new gnome. Right, cool and then here is another one for Christmas cards and wait back to the circle flip here's a circle flip is that upside down now and cool and then you can even use it as a stand-up card stand up and we already have existing videos on the circle flip in fact we have three videos on YouTube uh, using the circle flip die because there's like eight different cards you can make with that die. However, Julie just made a ninth. So this is going to be kind of cool tonight. We are Creek Bank Creations. We're from Perrysville, Indiana, the land of tall corn and not much more. We're a small paper arts um, company. We have our own line of stamps, dies, uh, paper, tools, and adhesives. Uh, check us out at www.creekbankcreations.com. Eva wants to know if you've been keeping cool. Eva, it's been very difficult to keep cool lately. Actually, I had an outdoor project at River Retreat House the last couple of days, and it just about knocked the tar out of me, if you know what I mean, uh, working out in the heat and humidity. But I Tell made it. What have you been doing? What? Tell them what you've been doing. We have been, I have been moving the router uh, for the uh, internet for River Retreat from the garage to inside the house. Now, that sounds like an easy task. However, I had to put the, uh, run the lines uh, under the deck, which I had to take up boards. I had to drill a hole through the, through the wall in the uh, brick wall, crawl underneath the crawl space about a half a dozen times and, uh, and then connect it. So we've got internet with the router directly in the house for better connection now for everybody who comes to River Retreat. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, and with that, Mrs. Creek, are you just ready? Just one of the many blessed jobs. Just one of the, do. yes, just, you know, I'm chief cook, bottle washer, and janitor, and maintenance guy here. You ready? Yeah, were you going to share your scripture thought for today? Uh, Mrs. Creek, <laughs> I don't have a scripture <laughs> thought, <laughs> except the only scripture yes. thought I had was yes. Job. I yes. read Job this morning. He said, naked we came into this world, and naked we're going to leave. So regardless how hard it is out there, praise the Lord anyway. So there you go. So with that, Mrs. Creek, take it away. I think we, we're missing part of our, our backdrop. Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? So we, um, we are recovering from doing the Indianapolis show. It was so awesome to get to see so many of our customers and connect with you guys. And, um, you know, it's just nice to be able to, like, actually talk to other human beings <laughs> in, in person in, in person. person so it was nice and um appreciate everybody who came it was a very very small crowd but it was still uh good to get out and see everyone so um we're a little discombobulated tonight because um every time we leave we have to tear the parts of the studio out and put it in the trailer and so things are a little th like i'm looking behind me here and i see i'm missing thing so hang with us tonight i'm really excited tonight we're going to do a really cool little project this project i am asked about at shows all the time and i know when i explain it i get the i get this look <laughs> <laughs> which means i think i got you but um it's always nice to um actually get to do these projects did you show them what we're doing i did 
I did. Okay. So did you explain about the bundles? Do I need to talk about that? I did or not explain about the bundles. Okay. Create, so to tonight, more, um, more every time we do a live, there's a blog post that's attached to it. So there is a blog post on our blog. If you go to creekbankcreations.blogspot.com, you can find our blog post. And tonight's blog post is called Circle Flip Slim Card. YouTube Live. And if you look at that, it'll tell you all the products that we use. So some of these products you may already own, and then you, you don't want to do the bundle special. Others of them you um, might want to purchase. So they're, all the links are there. If you purchase um, items individually, you can use the coupon code RAINBOW and save 15%. Orders over $50 ship free. If you order a bundle, those savings are around 30%. So we're going to have lots of fun tonight. I'm really excited to be able to share this with you. There's a little trick involved. And you know, y'all, we like tricks. tricks. So tricks. Um, so the tricks. Circle Flip die is one of the very first products that we came out with. And it is a winter chicken dinner <laughs> because you can do so many things with it. So if you go back into our video archives, you can see I've created three videos and believe me, they are the very first videos that I shot. So, so they are of utmost quality. Yeah. Um, but I explained how to how to the different ways to use the die and why the die is so versatile. So in the basic form, basic deal. Tom, is there any way that you could um, to put this laptop onto the YouTube channel for me so I can yes, see what I'm doing? So, um, so. It uh, circle flip die. This is what the package is like, circle flip die. And you have all this very strange configuration of parts here. So this is made, I designed this for an A2 card. And in the simplest form, you start with your A2. Are y'all ready to go? Everybody ready? If you're ready, say yes. <laughs> Let me know you're out there. Um, in the simplest form, we're going to, this is our, we're going to start with an A2 card. Okay. And we're going to mark in the middle. There we go. You're ready. I see you now. In the middle of the front panel, you're going to put a pencil mark on the top and on the bottom at two and one eighth. So remember how I, whenever I have a project, that requires measuring, I make a jig. So in this case, thank you, Tom, I um, make a jig that's two and one eighth by four, by 5.5. You need to tell them that's a little bit different than me dancing a jig, just saying. Okay, you totally disrupted the whole, my whole train. You know, Tom's train, Tom's mind, <laughs> there's like, Tom's mind is like the roundhouse of trains. And the trains are, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Julie's trains are like one train <laughs> going down the track. So Excuse me. he, he just messed, he sorry. totally messed up my trains. Sorry about okay, so <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> make a center point and then you're going to take this die out of the set and tape it on the front of the card and die cut. When you do that, you're going to have a fold, a die cut, and a fold. And that's what enables you to have that flip panel that moves to the back. Now, inside this package is the die that cuts this piece of paper. And there's another die that cuts this piece of paper. So there are also two circles in there. So. The, one of the reasons this product is so fun is the many, many different ways you can use it. And you can see here, this is the basic format. And I have used the pine cone and the mini gifts and then the stamp. It's not about the presence, it's about your presence. Okay, so um, the bundle that we're offering tonight has the new Christmas stamp. Thanks be to God for this indescribable gift. It's not about the presence, it's about your presence. Tis the season, tis the reason, and then it has best day ever and Merry Christmas on it. So this just shows you another way. This is the standard circle flip with the sentiment on the inside. 
So very fun. Now, if you turn it sideways and flip it, you can cut the A2 card into a stand-up card. So this is the edge die, the nativity edge, and um, the, the uh, stamp set, thanks be to God for this indescribable gift. So um, just showing you some different options there. I do have these pictures on the Pinterest page under circle flip. So that is the basics of angel side circle. There's more you can do with it. Um, but tonight we're not here to talk about that. <laughs> we're here to talk about the amending the slim card, but there, there are more things that you can do with that die. You can check out my YouTube videos for that. So the slim card card front die is a very long panel that fits on the A2 card front. So when I make an, a, an, a slim card, I make that card for the sake of ease of measurement, eight by 9.25, and I score it four, and it fits in an envelope just fine. I know a lot of people are using these like three and, I don't know, five, eight, seven, I don't know. I'm just saying I'm cutting it eight by 9.25. I'm scoring at four. Then if you have the panel die, this is called slim front card die. When you buy it, it has two pieces. It's designed so that when you cut it, this is actually how I designed it. You can die cut it and you can make this panel that goes on the front of a card and it'll open up and it'll cut that window out and then you can move that window <coughs> to the inside. So the way you make this card is you start with your basic A2 car or your slim card and instead of having the fold on this side, you put the fold over here and you attach that panel to the back. So you can see I cut the window out, I attach the panel to the back and I have this really nice panel. So what we're going to do tonight is learn how to amend the panel. So I want to I want to go from the very start and show you how I set the whole thing up. And we are going to work towards making this card. So here's what's fun about this card. It says, um, tis the season and this is the stamp set. Um, thanks be to God. And it's got the pine cone on it and everything. But when you open it up and you fold it over, there's the nativity in there. And it says, tis the reason, Merry Christmas. So you can see that just makes a really fun interact kind of interactive little card and it fits in a business size envelope no extra postage okay so um that did you show them the other cards tom i did okay but you can show them so, again, just to remind them. yeah did you did you did they catch that there was some unusual being on this no nobody saw you guys me. see this so do we know when these are coming um I tried to call, I didn't try to call today. I forgot to call today. Uh, they should be within the next two weeks. Okay, so we have um, the we have the gnome die in stock and um, we have two sets of gnome stamps coming. Pat wants to know where, go ahead, I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry, finish. The finish. gnome die does not coordinate with the gnome stamp. Two totally different products. Mm -hmm. So if you if you saw the gnome die over the weekend, have we shown that online? The gnome die? Did we show that last week? I think we did. Yeah. It doesn't match. It's separate. It's a it's a die cut. So the gnome stamp set, um, there's a fall set and there's a Christmas set, and then there's a sentiment set. And the sentiment has both um autumn sentiments and Christmas sentiments on it. So this is just to show you how you can totally have fun and think about like you have all this white space up here, what you can do in that white space. All right, couple questions. Okay. One, the nativity die, is that from the circle flip collection? The nativity die that I used on this card 
is um, Edges 001, and it is the it is the edges that I've used previously in the freestanding tunnel card. Right, so we have two we have two nativities. We've got Edges 001, okay, and we have. I don't know that the other nativity is called Edges 001. Do you know that for a fact? Oh, I thought you just said that. You're not. I, edges. I pulled, it, I pulled it right there. Edges. Right there. Okay. <laughs> I know y'all are going to be surprised by this, but this is a regular thing that occurs at Green Bank <laughs> Creations that we are confused about what products are called. This is, I'm sorry, it was, it's Edges 011. Mm -hmm. Nativity Christmas Edges. N Nativity Christmas okay. Edges 001. So the bundle special is, thanks be to God for this indescribable gift, mm -hmm. Nativity Christmas Edges which is what I used in the freestanding tunnel card, if you've seen that sample, and the circle flip die. This is one of the bundle specials that we're currently offering. So you didn't use the circle flip nativity? Though. I did not use the circle flip nativity, but you could. Okay. Do you want to go get that, or did I'll somebody ask that question? Get. Also. Yes, you certainly can. The, the circle flip nativity I designed originally to fit in the bezel of the circle flip card. It works wonderfully. In the bezel, darling. In the bezel, in darling. The bezel. <laughs> all, right. all right, Diana uh, Mekatura asks, Diana. how can she get in our webpage and look at her order history to find out what she's ordered from us in the past? Is there a way to do that? I'm First sure time I've that there is, but I don't know the answer. Okay. We can. Diane, we'll get back to you on figure that, that okay? out. What is she? Is she looking for something specific, or she just wants to look through she, her history? I think she wants to make sure she doesn't order, hasn't ordered it twice. That is a very good question, Diana, and <laughs> I do not have an answer. So we'll work on that. We can certainly get an answer. So, why do you always show something? Oh, what was the rest of that question, Ruth? Sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, Ruth wants to know. What do I do with the media sticks? Um, that's a really good question, Ruth. And um, I'm hoping that Tom's going to catch the rest of those questions as they come up. So the media sticks, I had questions about this at the show over the weekend. One of my favorite little tools to have in my tool stash. So um, the media stick has five silicone heads on it, and they're of different shapes. Some of did you say five? Oh five? five? That's incredible. There's five sticks in my family. Okay. Um, can you see if the media sticks are up there? Yes. So some of them are, are really, really pointy. And some of them have a scooped, scooped silicone part. You don't have to get new ones out. That's okay. And some of them just have a straight edge. So I love the little pointy guy. He's like all like a little pencil point because you can pick up stickles and like dot stickles on projects, like make a little puddle of stickles, take your little pointy stick, pick up the stickles and move the stickles, which works amazingly great for like, if you want to put the insides um, on a flower, little um, insides of a flower. So the little scoopy one, that's a, that's a technical term, little scoopy one. Um, which is this one. The scoopy one. It's Can like, say, it's scooped out like right scoopy, there. Scoopy, if I'm scoopy. mixing um, perfect pearls, which is like pulverized mica powder with water, I like to use this to scoop and put water and mix a little puddle of um, magical shimmer water. So it's a good mixing tool. And these clean off really well with just water. The um, straight one, I don't know if you can tell this, the straight one. Um, this tool is amazing. If you have liquid glue that you're putting on a project, we might use it tonight, um, and you you adhere the project down and the glue squitches out the sides. What's it do? It squitches. Okay. I'm a, I'm a glue squitcher. Um, if you use the media stick to pull the glue off, you know how you put your finger on your project and you do that? You're like, oh shoot, too much glue. And you use your finger and then you have this little swipe mark ever so slightly showing on your project. This does not leave a swipe mark. And unlike a Kleenex, it won't glue to your card. 
Yes, and I don't <laughs> think crafters use some Kleenex, but yeah. Okay, so the other thing is um, you can make little circles in the ink with this one, just the circle head. The other thing is <clears throat> if you um, work with jelly plates at all, these are awesome for um, writing in the jelly plate and making designs in the jelly plate. That's a whole nother craft. Um, but if you are a jelly plate person, um, then these are great. Most of the time I am using this to move media around. How much are the media sticks? Do you, is I think they're $5.99. I, on this one's not priced. I think they're $5.99. The other thing is this one that has the like the chiseled top on it. I love to, if I'm coloring and I want to just make little bitty straight lines, show you this. This is a watercolor flower. And so you watercolor, you color directly on the stamp and you stamp the image. And this is actually, I, we use this in a class I taught. Do you see here how we have like those little lines? If you look close, you can see there's little lines. That's because I'm using my pen to color off on a little uh, piece of plastic. And I'm using the straight line of the media stick to pick up media and I'm just putting in straight little lines. So you can add detail to projects. Like if you wanted to put little spokes on a wheel, you could pick up some ink and then get it in there and get it right where you want it in yes, control. Yes, they're $5.99, uh, Mrs. Creek. They are $5.99. Do you realize that's only $1.20 a stick? It's only $1.20. It doesn't get any better. Do you know why? And it's actually less than that you because you're so generous that you have a coupon code. Do you know why? No, I don't know because why. Because we don't make a lot of money, but, but we make, make a, a lot, lot of friends. friends. That's right. Awesome. Okay, so um, I think I'm ready to turn the can. Did anybody else have questions? There were people asking questions, and I don't know if we got to everybody. I'm working on them. So when you work with the slim card dies, uh, you are going to need the extended cutting platform. This is the die. This is the regular platform. So you're going to need the extended cutting platform and the extended cutting plates. So it's just setting that up. And I think I'm about ready to turn the camera down unless we have more questions. No, we're, 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 we're ready to rock, rock and roll. Okay, so I have um, previously, sorry, I was going to answer this question. This is the circle flip nativity. It is called nativity circle flip. This is the original nativity die that we put out. It does fit in the circle flip. And if you look at it, it's got um, two circles and these two circles do correspond with the circle flip die. So um, what I love about the edges, the edge dies, and we have quite a few of them, and this is why, um, you can cut them into a rectangle or into a square and put them on a card front, but you can also run them through your die cut machine on a piece of paper. So I have my square piece of paper, I run it through, and this is what I've done here. I probably should have um, brought did I bring it so you could see it? Look in here. I did. I'm going to demo this tonight. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do it. Is that awesome or what? So any of the edge dies, you can actually get to hold a shape or to be in a shape just like this. I'm going to show you how to do that tonight. That's hilarious. Okay. So are you guys ready? I am going to... Um, Hey, Ruth, you know, um, the purpose of us getting together is so that we can answer those questions and visit. And <clears throat> that's what this is all about. So we're happy that you're asking questions, which is a good thing. I'm going to turn the camera down. So hang on, ladies. Hey, I'm going to give us... I'm going to give away a set of media He's media going to give stuff. away a set of media sticks tonight. You know, I kind of like this better with my laptop rather than the tablet, Thomas. There you go. This, we may have, Hang on. Have something new. See, whenever we relocate like this, it causes the camera to do the hokey pokey. And you turn yourself around. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Man. Oh, 
Okay. Can you give me a yes or a no? We've got a lot of black from the camera mount in the picture. Jennifer likes that paper. Uh, Mr. Creek, are you shipping paper? What kind of paper? No, not 12 by 12 paper, no. <laughs> We have this paper in no, our don't shop, even, don't even go there. but yeah. Mr. Creek hates to ship paper. So it's not on the website because I want to stay married. So if y'all, um, the same people who tell him it's okay to wear tube socks should start nagging him now to put the paper on the website. <laughs> okay, I'm having trouble. What am I doing wrong? There we go. I think I need to come forward farther. Sorry. This card's bigger. No pixelated. So. Good now. Okay, I can't get that. There we go, right there. Okay, sorry guys. Someday I will be better at this, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys, good to know, awesome, awesome. Okay. Oh, this is frustrating me. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, quit messing and go. So we're, we're looking at the slim card dies. We have the, um, the panel die and we're gonna learn how to amend the panel die. We have other slim card stamps and other slim dies they are on the website so if you're like really into this you can go with those when you buy the panel the card front you're going to get this and it has two banner shapes in it tonight what i want to teach you to do is instead of using it as an actual panel we're going to learn how to amend it so we can turn it into that circle flip design so what we're going to do is we're going to take our panel and we're not going to use the interior rectangle we're going to take our um, piece we're going to put it on top of our acetate and I do like to use the medium weight acetate for this okay so sometimes it doesn't matter but for this I really do like the medium weight acetate and I wanted to um so basically, this is Creek, set this up start to finish so you guys could actually see how I do it. Yes. You're actually taking two dies, and with the acetate and the tape, you're making it into a completely different yes. die. Is that I'm, right? Yes, I am. I'm cheating. Wow. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Are we about value or what? <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my acetate on the very um, edge of my grid pad line that up and then I'm going to put some tape on the back of my die and I am going to adhere my die to that acetate and that is going to give me a panel that I can do all kinds of creative things with and today I had this all put together and I just simply took it apart with undo so I'm going to tape it together with tape and then if I want to take it apart, I can take it apart with undo. So when we're done here, I want to take it apart because some of you aren't familiar with how I use undo. So I want you to see that part of it about how you can just take it apart too. So you can drop all kinds of shapes into this panel. So I'm just going to pull my tape. My tape is quarter of an inch and my die is thinner than that. So I'm just going to pull that edge in. And I'm going to set that right on the edge. Excuse me. <laughs> and I'm going to set it down. And I want to make sure that that cut line is right on the outside edge of my grid because I want to line it up all straight. There we go. And I'm not straight. My grid's not straight. I need my grid not to do the hokey pokey. There we go, try again. 
there we go. Now, what we want to make sure is that that cut line is on the, the outside edge. And if you look at your die, you'll see you have a fold line right here. That's where your fold is. And you want to make sure that when you line that up, that the fold is on the four. And I have accomplished that task. What I have not accomplished is finding scissors. Here we go. We're going to take our scissors. Did you tell me we did that on, on the creek bank grid, grid pad? I, I, I don't think I mentioned that, but it's good that you did. Yes, that's, using the creek bank creations grid pad. Let's trim it out. That's going to hold it in place. And what we're going to do is get that funky shaped piece from the um, circle flip die, this little guy, and we're going to get him right on the two inch mark, just like that. Okay, so we're going to take two pieces of tape and we're going to put them on the two inch mark. That's why when you put that down the very first time, you want to make sure you have that lined up straight. And we're going to put one at the top and one at the bottom. Hold that in place. And we're going to set that die in. And that is going to place that in the perfect spot so that it scores and die cuts perfectly for us. Now, we're just going to set that right in. Look at that. You just made that awesome panel. That's how you set up the front panel. Now I do have adhesive sticking out right here just a little bit and um, I just leave it on there and then I use the undo to remove it. So I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so that's gonna score and then die cut. That's my panel, I, got, I have my panel set up. Now I have previously cut the large panel for the front of our card. And we are going to attach that to a six by 12 piece of paper, okay? So I'm gonna get my liquid adhesive and I'm going to cover that with um, liquid adhesive and put a little paper down first because we do not want that, um, we want it adhered all the way around the edges. We want really good adhesion because we're gonna fold it. So we want adhesive all over the place and we want good coverage because we're gonna cut that circle shape out of it. And why wouldn't you use the super tacky shape, Mr. Creek? Mr. Creek, I anticipated that you would ask that question. Um, this has to be, we're gonna to have to fold this and the super tacky tape is too bulky. It ends up not folding well. Okay. So that's why um, the glue is just a little bit thinner. It probably would be easier just to use the um, super tacky tape. But now I'm going to take, I keep a extra sponge around and I, you can use a makeup sponge. You can use your finger actually, but I like to run this over that glue line and make sure I'm getting rid of that glue line and fan it all out. Now I know that circle is gonna get you cut like right in through here. So I'm gonna go back in and add a little more glue because we do not want that for us. And then when I'm done with my little um, sponge, I just rinse it off with water and keep it and reuse it. Okay, there's that. We're gonna stick that on our six by 12 piece of paper and you just center it on there. It doesn't have to be particularly straight, but center it on there. And then here's where the magic comes in. You're gonna take that die setup that you made and you're going to set it on top. And this is what's fun. If you look, yeah, I think you can see. The die frames the stitch perfectly. So this is the largest die from the slim stitched rectangles. We're going to lay it on top and we're going to die cut. And you want to tape it down really well because you don't want it doing the hokey pokey. We're going to die cut. And turn yourself around. And turn ourselves around. So this is going to die cut and score for us. I'm using the Vagabond 
electric machine. Mr. Creek has a special on that. We do. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off. When I do, I'm gonna use some undo. Undo is gonna suspend adhesion on that tape and it's gonna allow me to lift that right off without tearing up my project. And remember I said when I glued that middle piece down that I had some tape that was exposed. So when I pull this panel off, I wanna put my undo in there. So I make sure that I'm not gonna tear up my card front. So just a little dot, literally a little bit will get you where you need. That is your panel for the front. And that liquid glue, the reason we were spreading it out is because we wanted to have a nice clean cut on the edge. Now we're gonna take our scoreboard and that die did score for us, but it stopped right here because this is an A2 card down here. We need it to go all the way up. So we're gonna take our score tool and we're gonna score at two inches. That's gonna be right at the middle point of our card. Now, whenever I score and I have this place where I'm not scoring, so I'm scoring down to where the cut line is and then I need to go back down to the bottom and score again. I like to use my ruler so that I'm sure that I pick up the proper edge. So I'm just gonna jump down and do that and that'll help me get the proper edge. Any questions? How are we doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to. Okay. I don't know which bundle you mean or should I look it up? Okay. How okay. Much, how much is the bundle? Um, hang on, we'll go over that. So we'll I want to. The there's a fold. Hold on, before we go over that, there's a fold to the right of this stitch mark. And because we have such a small space going there, I do like to take my tool and just go over that and push that down and reinforce that score so that we get a nice clean score right on that right score line. Just go over it. Okay, let me um, finish folding here and then we'll talk about what we're doing. I'm gonna fold that back right on that fold. And that is my piece that I'm going to attach to my card. Actually gonna fold it forward. Okay, and then we're gonna fold this part back and we will have our card front. Is that fun or what? There it is. Okay, so go over it with your score, score tool, get it nice and clean. That is the card front. Okay, now we're going to take our, this is the card, the inside piece, and I, I previously stamped it. I cut this four by nine and a quarter. Now we're gonna take that really long tab all the way down and we're gonna put super tacky tape right down that edge. You could use um, liquid glue if you wanted to as well. All down that edge, push it down and we're gonna adhere that card base to that card tab. And I'm gonna take my undo and I'm just gonna give a little dot of undo right down through there because I wanna have time to manipulate that and get that to sit exactly where I want it, exactly on that fold line, nice and clean. Push that down and that undo will evaporate in less than a minute. And when it does, I'll have permanent adhesion. So I do recommend that you stamp the cards before you get going and you have to watch and know where is that circle shape gonna hit on the card so you stamp in the right place. So where are the bundles? So what we have, we're kind of working off two bundles tonight. We have the circle, I'm sorry, the Thanks be to God bundle. And that is the thanks be to God stamp. Here's your circle flip card and the edges nativity die. This is the new nativity and it is coordinates with the 
freestanding tunnel card. Okay, so that's that. The other bundle special, you could buy any one of those items with the coupon code and get 15%. Uh, the other bundle is the slim card bundle. So here's your slim front card panel that we just worked with and the sentiments that match the banner piece. And this is the package of slim stitched rectangles that I just worked with. So what I just used was the slim front card panel and the slim stitched rectangles. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All on the website under bundle specials. Now we do have quite a few bundle specials on the website right now. So um, when you look at them, there might be two pages of them. So if you feel like you're missing a bundle special or you're looking for something and it's not showing up, it might be on page two. Now the circle flip die comes with two sets of circles. They are meant so that you can um, cut a large circle and a small circle and mat them. And you can see how they fit in the bezel really well. So I have previously cut the white piece and um, I have my super tacky tape on the back, which made it a sticker. And I'm just gonna accent the front of that with the pine cone die. And I've already, everything cut tonight, I've already cut and it has our super tacky tape on the back. So that makes it a sticker. Oops, a little. Okay, so I'm gonna take my super tacky tape. We sell this in a three inch roll or a six inch roll. I'm going to unroll it. I'm gonna put my paper in it, trim it out and die cut. And then my die cut is a sticker, which makes life a beautiful thing. So I've already got my pine cone cut here. So this is already a sticker. I literally can just peel that off and stick that on the base. There's my pine cone. And we're gonna add a branch, pine branch. We're gonna stick those on. I just love the feel, the holiday feel that the pine branch gives you. You can I cut a bunch of those and make a wreath too. Or just so I'm gonna set that right on my circle there. Set that down. I'm a little long on him, on this guy, so I'm gonna trim him and tuck him in. You don't want him hanging off the edges. Put our pine cone on there. Maybe, maybe baby. Weiner is not cooperating with me. There we go. Put our pine cone right in there. Now, I felt like this card needed a little pizzazz. Do you ever feel like a card needs pizzazz? Before we talk about any more about pizzazz, my card has paper hair on it, so I'm gonna clean that up. When you die cut with the super tacky tape, what you'll find is you have these little paper fibers hanging around. And especially on something detailed like the pine cone and the pine branch, you have these little fibers. So this is Embelly Jelly that I'm using. It is on the website, E-M-B-E-L-L-I-E-G-E-L-L-I-E. -E -E -L -L -E. This is not, I did not put this in the blog post today. I didn't plan on using it, but I did, I need it. So we're going to use it in belly jelly. So it comes in a package with a little stick. It's designed originally. This is old, been around for a long, long time. It's designed for you to make into a ball. And then you use the stick to pick up and move things. And I'm just saying it works great for using, picking up paper fibers. And it's a great little tool to have in your stash in belly jelly. So when I, started working on this card, I felt like it needed, um, it needed a little pizzazz. So we've got our little tis the season thing here and I was gonna do like the red bow and that, you know, that's kind of cute, but I felt like it needed a little pizzazz. So here's what we're gonna do. When we die cut the bow, normally what we have is 
red cardstock, and I have my super tacky tape on the back. Are you still broadcasting? Yeah, why? Okay, mine was, okay, we're fine. Mine was just streaming. Okay, all right, Every, how's everybody doing? Okay, we're doing okay. Um, so normally we're gonna cut die face down into the, into the red cardstock, and then we have a sticker. To do this technique, we're gonna turn it over, and when we die cut the bow, and this is the bow from the um, Merry Christmas circle frame die. There's a bow and a bell in that set, and this is the bow. So when I die cut it, I put the die straight down into the tape side, and I die cut, which now means I have the sticky side facing up. So I'm taking off the relief liner. I have the sticky side up and I'm going to take my glitter and I'm gonna put that in my glitter. So this is our pixie dust. It's super fine glitter. You're just gonna pop it in there and Run your finger over it. And now you have this beautiful, looks like glitter paper, but it's super fine. And it makes a really pretty accent for that card that just needed a little pop. Okay, so when I made the stand-up card, which is this card, I cut a strip and did the same technique and put glitter on it. So in the background of the stand-up card, you have a little glitter going there. So if you ever, like if you look at your card and you're like, mm, I feel like it needs a little something something, what it needs is a little tape and glitter. That'll give you a little pop. So this is, we'll have to use glue here because um, we have tape on the other side. So little liquid glue and I'm using the Art Institute so I can get that glue exactly where I want it. And we do sell the Art Institute with the stainless steel <clears throat> nozzle. Set that right on top there. Nice little pop. Tom, do you have questions? I've been answering them. I mean, <laughs> Oh, yeah. You have 68 yeah. viewers. Do you have a prize to give away? Yes, okay, I'm going to put the title on with the clear foam tape while Tom has a prize to give away. Okay, these crafters. I'm going to give away a set of those fantastic media, media sticks. sticks that you've all been asking questions about tonight that Julie has explained to you. Uh, and as you know, <clears throat> got another gardening question here tonight. Um, <laughs> Name the, the one single vegetable in my garden that has been the most prolific this gardening season. And I mean, just keeps producing, keeps on giving, and doesn't stop. Oh my goodness, Judy Retz, you're right. First, first person up, Judy Retz got it. Judy, <laughs> Judy. They were like already with their vegetable you questions. Have one. I guess I need a, I guess I need one a little harder than that one. This is great. Yeah. Do you have another question? I do. Okay. I do. Okay. We'll get to it in a minute. Okay. okay we're going to add our tis the season right in there. Just to add a little pop dot. What I love about that. Um, we haven't dug potatoes yet. Candy. We, when do you, dig, when do we dig potatoes, Tom? Uh, in the summer. In when? The end of the summer. Oh, I thought you said December. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't gotten to the potatoes yet. The corn was amazing. So I'm going to add some red self-adhesive pearls. And when I put those on, I try to put them on in little groups of three so they look like little berries. Just a nice little accent to add. These little self-adhesive pearls are designed so they are super small so that they ship well. So you don't have a bunch of bulk when you go to ship. And you can see, I like to use the pick tool to pull them off. They are not connected on the sheet. So you can pull off one or two to place them exactly where you wanted, where you want them. You don't have to cut them all apart. 
Nice, got your little berries going. And then you're pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, where so is... Using the berry, you know what, I'm giving some of those away to me. You're you giving know. them away, you're giving it away. Um, where's my other circle flip card? There it is. So if you have a card where you feel like it just needs an extra little pop, this is the standard um, circle flip and I put the packages on it because this it's not about the presence, it's about your presence. And I just added the little white self-adhesive pearls. It just needed a little, a little something, something. So those little self-adhesive pearls are handy. Now what we have is we're gonna open this up and what we wanna do is build our nativity scene over here on the left. So we're gonna open our card up and we're gonna have this nativity over here. Mm -hmm. So I find myself every year making my nativity cards blue. And um, the reason I used this particular paper that Mr. Creek refuses to get <laughs> is because um, I felt like I could get away with using a color other than blue for the nativity. Just a little different twist on the whole thing. So when you look at edge dies, when you die cut them, you lay them on your paper and you die cut to this darker green one. <laughs> and you, so you have your basic shape here. And this is what I wanted to show you. It is not on a circle. It's just a basic shape. So you can take your dies from your aim, Mm -mm -mm. your circle flip you're getting me in trouble <laughs> die collection how's that we want paper i told them they should nag you because they told you that you could wear tube socks i said the same people who said you should wear tube socks should... i don't wear tube socks i wear crew socks <laughs> crew socks tube socks come all the way up to your knees <laughs> these are crew socks <laughs> with holes in them well, sometimes, not very often, I say those to writing your bike. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you all don't have husbands or men in your life or children who do these things. All right. So what I have is cut in a rectangle, and I'm going to go over it with a circle die, and I'm going to die cut it. And that's going to give me that perfect circle shape around the bottom. So you could cut this into an ornament shape. You could cut it into any shape that you want, and all of the edge dies are made. I actually designed them like this for this reason. So now we have this really cool shape that's in a circle, and we can pop this open and set our set right in there. And I literally just peeled the back off and stuck it in there. Now, this is the beauty of also working with that super tacky tape on the back. It makes it so easy just to go and pop in that die cut. Now, the nativity, this is part of the nativity edge. It has the cow and the donkey attached to it. And I just cut off the <clears throat> crash. Is this the crash, this little thing? You call what? it the crash? This the thing crash. crash? No, it's called a manger. Manger. What's the crash? The crash is the house too? The crash. Crash. The crash. crash. Help me, ladies. Who's agreeing with you? Diana is agreeing with you. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to tuck it right in there. Whoops. Got tape stuck to my finger. I'm just going to tuck that right in there. And now I have the reason. Crash is the house. The, okay, thank you for telling me. Little, thank little, you, little, little you too. Little little um, now we have tis the season and tis the reason. This is driving me nuts. I have this little um, evergreen hanging off the edge there. We're gonna trim him a little bit. Are there evergreens in the manger? Evergreen. Well, not like that. There we go. So that is how you amend Sure, the crushes the barn. Okay. So what we have is the ma is the manger right here. Yes, that's the manger. A manger okay. is what is what cows eat out of. <clears throat> okay, so you can see how you can do all kinds of fun things with 
decorating that inside panel. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull the camera up. So hang on. How are we on time? We have 71 people watching. Yay, yay, yay. I'm going to coming up at you. Coming up. Coming at you. Okay. So that is how you amend the circle flip to um, use the slim card panel. Does anybody have any questions about any of that? <clears throat> Grab my other cards. These, um, these cards are fun to make. And the great thing is you can ship them for in that business size envelope for um, standard postage. This is the very first um, flip slim card that I made. And when I designed this card, I um, was playing around with it. And this actually, this die set is the very first outline alphabet set. It's not a set, but it's the word piece. And I designed this for this Christmas card. Was this in 2017? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? I don't. It was a long time no, ago. No, that, that was five years ago. No, no 2017. No. I think it was three it, years. It was quite a while ago. Okay, peace. Years, yeah. And I didn't even know if people would like this idea that I had, like this outline. These are my outline letters. It was a crazy idea. And um, I took it to a show and demoed it. And people kept saying, where's the alphabet? And we didn't put it out in an alphabet because it's really it's an expensive set and i didn't even know if people would buy it so um we shortly thereafter came out with the full alphabet set but we do have the word peace and the peace letters are actually a little bit smaller than the outline letters when we actually produced the whole entire outline letter alphabet set i made them a little bit taller so scrapbookers could use them as well but so you still use the in and out of the alphabet set for that card. Okay. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm just saying these are just a little bit smaller. So if you like the word piece and you don't have the um, whole alphabet set or you can't afford it, we do have this set as a die set, just the word piece. And the dove is actually um, one of our dies too. And the dove comes with that banner piece and that little olive branch. And that dove is cut in our super tacky tape and glittered. You know, when I think of piece, Julie, I think of a piece of coconut cream pie. You know, can I tell you something? Yes. I don't think of coconut cream pie. Really? Yeah, I've never understood why people do peace at Christmas. Mm -hmm. I've never understood that. But this year you do. And <laughs> it hit me last year. I don't know. It hit me last year or maybe the year before. It, the inside of this, this is one of our stamps that says, um, peace is a promise that he keeps because the Lord tells us that he has peace to give us, not peace that the world gives, but peace inside. So if you want to send peace, this is a good year. Peace. We need peace. We need to live in peace. Okay. Do you have another uh, thing to give away? I do. I do. Ladies, what, are, what are you doing? What are you giving away? I'm giving away. Give it away. Six sets. You can show, show them. Six sets. Oh, is he pearls? Of self Every, Adhesive every, every pearl. woman needs a set of pearls. Every woman. And even if you're not you a know, woman and you're a crafter, you need a set yeah, of pearls. Yes. You and one set, you need to take your feet. He's got tube socks on the table now. No, my feet We are do on the need table. the other camera. My feet are propped up on the table with the Okay, table what's the question? Happen to have tube socks on. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. Tube socks. What spice in my garden? Am I currently drying right now? To, to drying to preserve. Yes. What spice? We're getting, we're getting, we are getting. Uh, what set? Oh, I missed that question. Somebody asked a question. Are, are you watching the? Kim, Kim Schellenberg won. Kim Schellenberg. Kim Camera. is the winner. It is Dill. Oh. I forgot. I forgot all about it, ladies. He and Tom and my son went through this stage of uh, refrigerator dill pickles. 
The summer. Oh man, they, they, oh my goodness. We're not done yet either. I just haven't had an opportunity to make oh. any more. We we had a lot of refrigerator deals going. Sorry, I'm having to hold the camera. The camera's not cooperating with me. Okay. Um, do you have your winner? Yes, it's Kim. Okay, Calvin. somebody asked a question in there and I missed it right before all that. Cam Schallenberg is the winner. Yes, you're right, Michelle. We are using the dill with the cucumbers, and the dill crop was huge this year. Got more dill than so it's we missed a question. Somebody asked a question about right, the bundle, and I'm not sure what it was. This camera's not cooperating. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. What set is the pine cone dye included in, or is it a single dye? That was really useful um, to ask. I'm sorry, this camera is not cooperating with me at all. We don't have it in a set. I don't. No, it's, it has a it comes in its own set. I'll get it. Um. I think she meant bundle. No, she, she, no, she was wondering if it was. So the pine cone die is a two piece die set. It has that background piece and then it has that cutout piece and it comes together. When you buy it, you get both dies, the, the uh, inside piece and the, and the background piece so you can mat it up really nice. Tom's going to get the package. If the question, <clears throat> if the question was about a bundle special, if she uses the coupon code, she'll get 15% off. Use the coupon code RAINBOW and you'll get 15% off. So this is what the package looks like, but you do have two dies in there. It isn't a part of a bundle special at this point. So, okay, are we good to go? I think we have it all covered. You have your winners, chicken Wait, dinners. Winner, chicken. Let me see if yep. there's any more questions. Does anyone else have any questions on anything? Where's the branch? Okay, Christine. The pine the branch. branch is a separate die. I'll go get that. So Please. you have pine cone and pine branch. And Tom's going to get the pine branch. When you get the when you buy the pine branch, there are two um, pine branches in there, one that's smaller and one that's larger. If you're signing off, thank you so much for coming and hanging with us. It's so greatly appreciated. We will not be back on the road again until October, October 1st. if things go well. So um, we're dependent upon our what we're doing online here. There's Pine Branch. So um, you can find that on the website and it's a two piece package as well. So um, thanks for- Thanks for joining us. Joining us. We love you all. We'll, we'll see you May the next. Lord bless you and keep you and- uh, Stuff like that. Yeah. Make his face shine upon you. Indeed. <laughs> we'll see you next time. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.